Hello, in this very short tutorial, I'll show you how you can easily edit a photo in Photoshop from the start to the very end. And in case you are download this raw image to follow along with this tutorial, simply check the link in the video description to download the raw image to follow along with this tutorial. So, as soon as you open the raw image in Photoshop, it is going to automatically open up in Camera Raw. So, in this, you just want to correct the lighting and contrast issues regarding this very photo or regarding this very image. So, just come and take the highlights down, reduce on the highlights in the image and the whites down like that. And I'm going to take the blacks down and open up the shadows slightly for this kind of image and add a little bit of contrast to the photo. Then I'm going to open up the exposure of this very image. So after doing these basic adjustments, you're going to come and click on open to open the photo in Photoshop. So in Photoshop, we are going to be doing the skin retouching using frequency separation. And as you know, just come the background layer and drag and drop here twice to create two copies from the background layer. And you can name this to color. And you can double click on this name to rename it to texture so for the color layer we want to remain with the colors and for the texture layer we only want to remain with the textures in the image so select the color layer turn off the texture layer simply come to filter come to blur come to gaussian blur take the radio slider down and click on any area on the skin that seems to have more skin details and move the radio slider and stop at the point whereby the red the, the details in the skin or the textures are just starting to disappear from your photo or from your image so at about 3.5 that is when i'm just starting to close out the details or the textures on the skin i'll click ok select the texture layer turn it back on and simply come to image apply image source is the name of the photo that we're editing layer select the color layer channel has to be rgb blending has to be set to add the scale is to offset zero turn on the invert option and click ok Change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to linear light. Select both layers by pressing Ctrl. Then drag and put them into a group or a folder. And open up the folder. Select the color layer. So for the color layer, we only want to work and perfect the colors. And for the texture layer, we shall be perfecting the textures in the image. So just come and turn off the texture layer. And simply come to the brushes. Get the mixer brush tool. And for the settings, the hardness set to zero. Soft round brush is selected, clean brush is selected, and this second option that is clean brush after each stroke is selected. We are going to be using a weight of 9%, load 75%, mix is 90, flow is 100%. Ensure that sample audience is not turned on or is not checked. So, for this, we're just going to start blending the transitions between the skin color or skin tone using a Mr. Brush tool. So, you can start blending. So, to blend, simply click and hold down, and you mix a given color or you paint on a given color. And after blending a given color, click once again and hold down. And you drag the brush to blend on a brand new color. So this is what we're going to be doing for the rest of the areas that have skin tone. So you mix the mid-tones alone, the dark colors alone, and also the highlights alone. And while these colors are transitioning from one color to another, just use a very tiny or small brush. And you blend the transitions between those colors. So you can see I'm blending like this. So for a very, for every area that you're trying to work on in short you move the brush in the direction or the shape of that given area so you can see for the cheek area i'm moving my brush in this kind of up and down slanting direction and for the chin i'm moving and following the direction of the chin so i'll do this for the rest of the areas that have or contain skin tones so for the nose you can see i'm moving the brush in this kind of direction and following the direction of the nose so this is what i have to do for the rest of the skin tone areas of our image or of our subject and in this way it is going to create even skin color and smoothing the skin at the same time so just come to also the fingers so in short you have worked on every area and by the way you can reduce or increase on the size of the mixer brush tool by using the open and close square bracket keys on the keyboard depending on how big the area you're trying to work on is in your image so you can as well work with the texture layer turned on in case you can't see the uneven skin colors or transitions in the skin tone. So I'm just going to turn it off because I tend to see clearly with the texture I turned on and they don't have any kind of interferences from the details or the textures as I'm trying to work on the colors. So once you're done blending, turn on the texture layer. You can see before and after for just blending the transition between the skin color. Select the texture layer. And for this step, we just want to fine tune the textures on the skin. So select the texture layer, simply come and get the clone stamp tool. And for settings, hardness is set to zero, 
Soft round brush is selected, the mode is set to normal opacity and flat 100%. Align this check and the sample is set to current layer because we want to remove blemishes that are part of the currently selected layer which is the texture layer in our frequency separation group. So zoom in by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard or you can use Command plus on the keyboard. Reduce on the size of the clone stamp tool by using the square bracket keys on the keyboard. And make sure that the size of the clone stamp tool is slightly bigger than the pimple or the blemish that you want to remove. So hold on the option key on the keyboard and click on the clean area near the pimple or the blemish and release the option key on the keyboard or you can release the alternate key in case you're using Windows and click once again over the pimple or over the blemish to remove it or clear it. So option, click, release the option key on the keyboard and click once again over the pimple to cover the pimple with clean skin and in that way the pimple is going to be eliminated. So for this step, we just want to fine tune the areas or the textures in this very image and you can see the model really has a good skin and we have less work to do regarding the texture or blemish removal in this very image so after working on the textures in the image for this step we just want to do a little bit of skin tone matching or color grading so close the frequency separation group you can say before after before after after this, create a stamp visible layer by pressing Shift Option Command E on the keyboard, Shift Alternate Control E on the keyboard to create a merged or stamp visible layer. Then come to select, come to subject so that we can select the subject in this case. Once we have selected the subject in this case, we are simply going to come and create a new empty layer, change the blend mode from normal, and change it all the way down to color. Then we are going to come to the brushes right here and get the brush tool and for settings, soft round brush is selected. The mode is set to normal, opacity and flow at 100%. So for this point, we just want to sample a color on the model skin that we want the rest of the skin to look like. So for this, I'm just going to sample a color. I prefer this color around the nose area option and click to sample that given color that you prefer. Option and click. So after sampling that color, start painting. So to paint, simply click and start painting like that. And ensure that you reduce or increase on the size of the brush tool by using the bracket keys on the keyboard. So I'll quickly paint on the model skin while avoiding the lips and other areas that have makeup like the eyeshadows and other areas that have makeup like the eyebrows. So paint on only those areas that have or contain skin tones or skin color. And I'm just going to quickly paint on her ear like that. So don't mind in case you paint extras because you can always get the eraser tool and you rub away. The shortcut for the eraser is E. So you can just get the eraser tool and you rub away in case you make a mistake. So I just paint on top of her lip like that. But make sure that you don't forget the hands in this case. So, so for this point we're just trying to get even skin tones or even skin color for our subject in this case. So I'll quickly paint and you can see right now the skin color or the skin tones are now looking nice and even in this case and I'm trying to use a very small or tiny brush and you can see whenever I make a mistake you can see a color spill over to the model's outfit which we don't want but we can correct that use, using our eraser tool. So I have to paint each and every area that has or contains skin color or skin tones to create this kind of uniformity within the skin tone. So after painting on every area that has skin color or skin tones, I'll simply come and get my eraser tool. And for the eraser tool, this is the eraser tool. The mode is set to normal, opacity at hundred percent, flat hundred percent. And its work is to rub away or erase color from areas that I did not want to paint that are not the skin like this color spill. So just click and paint in those areas. So I know this color may be looking unnatural and in order to make the color look natural and realistic, we are just going to perfect that right now. So after painting on the skin, come to this layer and reduce on the opacity so that the color can look natural and realistic. And in case it's looking too orange for your liking, we're just going to first of all press Ctrl D or you can use Command D on the keyboard to deselect active selection. So in case the color is looking unnatural and unrealistic, we are simply going to come right here to adjustments and simply come to hue and saturation. So in case it is looking too reddish, come to master, select the reds and come to where you see the hue. So you can play around with the hues to change the color to your taste or to your liking. So for this, 
I prefer this kind of color. After doing this, we're just going to come and create a selective color adjustment layer. Then come to where you see the reds and come to science, move the science slider forward like that. And we're also going to do the same for the yellows. Move it forward like that. After that, we're just going to come and create another adjust adjustment layer, which is our hue and saturation. Come to master, select the reds and simply come to the lightness and you can take down the lightness. And this is going to reduce on the amount of oranges, especially within the skin tone. And just come and add a black and white adjustment layer. Change the blend mode from normal to multiply and come and reduce on the overall opacity of the multiply blend mode to around, I prefer around 14. Looks okay before, after. So after doing this, we are just going to add a final selective color adjustment layer and we work on the blacks in the image. So for this, come to selective color, select the blacks. You can see blacks have a little bit of reddish tint. So just come to where you see the science and you can move the science slider forward just like this. And this is going to make the blacks look darker or richer in this case. And you can come the blacks and slightly increase on the intensity of the blacks in the image you can see before and after for the selective color then you can as well come and work on the whites in the image by coming back to our selective color in this case the whites and you can play around with the yellow slider just like this so i'll just move the yellow slider lower and come to magentas and also play around with the magenta slider just like this and this is going to make the image or the background pop and play around with the cyan still to have a better looking color in this case. Once we're done doing this, you can see before and after for just the selective color. So after doing this, you can do some eye whitening, but I prefer the eyes to look like this in this case. So let's add a little, a little bit of glow or skin shine to the model skin by coming and creating a curves adjustment layer. Scroll down, click on this point and move it from right to left until when the skin highlights are overexposed, then simply Right click on the curves layer to open up the blending options. So just come to your blending options in this case. And come to where you see blend if make sure gray is checked. Come to underlying layer, click on these dark pointers and move them towards the right hand side. And in this way the effect is going to be eliminated from the dark areas of the model skin. And only stop when the highlights are being affected. Then hold down the option key on the keyboard and click alternate for windows and click on this pointer. Move it towards the right hand side until when the effect is blending into the skin. Click OK. With this white line mask selected, press Ctrl I. Or you can use Command I on the keyboard to hide or invert the effect. Get the brush tool, opacity in the flat 100%. Ensure that you have black and white on these two color swatches. Then with the brush tool, make sure white is the top color. And simply paint only on the highlights of the model skin. And you can even paint a little bit on her lips just like that and this is going to add a little bit of skin glow or skin shine to the model skin so just come the opacity and make sure to reduce on the overall opacity of the effect so it can look natural and realistic you can see before after before after so after doing this the next step is simply going to be saving the image so in order to save the image simply come to file export come to export as and it's going to open up the export as window right here in photoshop under format, make sure it is set to JPEG. Quality the maximum, which is 7 for this case. Under resample, make sure you have selected by cubic sharper. Then simply scroll down to color space in case you don't want your photo to change in color. After saving it or posting it, ensure to check convert sRGB and embed color profile. Click on export and save your photo in whatever location that you want to save. Click save. So this is how you can quickly understand how to edit a photo in Photoshop from the very start the very end i hope you have enjoyed this video don't forget keep practicing and as well keep creating